welcome to Stomp Hesse with Moti Digital Performer Hack. I like that word hack. Anyways, uh, I wanted to show you this um, particular window. It's very important. It's called the bundles window. And this is where all your in and out routing is. You can get to it by the hotkey Shift and U. Or you can go up to the studio menu here um, and go down to bundles. And that will get you there as well. So what this is is the whole routing of your all everything that's in your system. Uh, so this is a really important thing to have. Uh, I have uh, two Apollos, uh, the old quad Apollos that I run in my studio here. And if I look at the input tab right here, you can see all my inputs and outputs. Um, you can either make a mono stereo, um, five to one, seven to one, etc. Uh, so that's you know something that you want to set up initially. Uh, outputs the same way. I just have them all um, grouped together like that. Uh, so when I bring up a an audio track, this is what's reflected in my choices when I make an audio track or make a um, uh, an aux track, etc. For the auxes, though, we have buses. So our bus assigns are really what we what we need to put together. And uh, if we're starting, we want to start a template. What we want to do is we want to add multiples. And so I'm just going to click on this button down here, add multiple in this in this window. And you can choose whether or not you want stereo, mono, etc. For auxes, I usually do um, 12 stereo buses. Uh, okay, that did not work. Hang on. And you just highlight and actually use your backspace key to get rid of them. I'm going to do it again so I can show you. 12. So now it's going to line up all the buses in sequence, and they're all stereo buses here. And I can just name all these. So we'll just do uh, what I normally do. Uh, I'm just going to name some of these different um, Reverbs, etc. Uh, I'll do a quarter note, an eighth note. I'll do a half. Uh, I'm going to do a pitch distortion. Okay. I'm going to do a flanger. I'm going to do a crush. Maybe for drums, and then I'm going to do a wide. So now I've set up all of my auxes that I want for effects. And I'm going to go, and now I'm going to get out of here. Take a second. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go to my project menu. I'm going to hold down my option and shift key. And this is going to allow me to assign aux tracks, multiple aux tracks. It's going to give me a box here, and I can... Say, I want 12 stereo aux tracks, and it's going to populate that. It's pretty cool. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to, well, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need this. Uh, we're just going to go delete track. And then from here, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go room. I know this is a bit of uh, work, but I just want to show you this. Quarter, one-eighth. We did pitch, distortion, flanger, uh, crush, and wide. Okay, so now what I can do is I can highlight all these. I can right click and go uh, make a new folder from all these selected tracks. And when I do that, I can just send, I can just call it effects. So now I have all of these. If I just click on this folder, it will select them all. Here's a trick. If you want to assign all these, n none of these are really assigned. If you look at the inputs over here, the nothing is assigned, and the outputs are assigned to uh, my main outs on my universal audio Thunderbolt device. What I can do is to get all those buses that we originally put in the bundles window to show up, I can hit 
option A, again, option A on a Mac. And what that does is it brings up the screen and it allows you to populate your inputs and outputs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that each one of these is consecutive different output. And I'm going to type in room so I can start with room. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to put all of these in sequential order just like we had them. So I'm just going to click OK. Now watch, everything is populated here. I'm going to save this. So I have basically done everything I need to do for a session in terms of the auxes. It's very, very easy. If I go Shift U again, I'm back into the bundles window. And now, if I want to save this setup with my inputs, outputs, and these buses, I can come over to, remember this little drop down menu here, and I can click on export. And uh, you know, you can you can put it wherever you want, and you can rename this. I can rename this multibus FX uh, sends example. So now if I want to, if I have another session going and I want to import that, I can just go up to here to, I can either import it with whatever I have in there, it'll double everything, which I don't want to do, or I can clear what I have and import it again. And that's just something that's, that's nice to do. And you can move around and sequence it. So I wanted to show you this. Uh, it's, a, it's a very powerful thing inside of Digital Performer. And uh, that's it. I hope you got something out of this. Thank you for so much for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Take care.